In this video, we analyze two of the craziest four-wheel drive power sliders of Got The Wheel. This is Build vs. Build. Norwegians are known worldwide for their oil, codfish, fjords and gatebil. Whilst the Japanese were busy developing drifting from the toge roads to actual racetracks, the Scandinavians had another approach to their car sliding sport. Since 2002, the gatebil events have featured Breislad, the power slide competition. We will analyze a traditional versus modernized take on Norwegian cloud making. In the end, we will score both of the cars in the usual Grumblo criteria of performance, looks and sounds. Let's get into it! In the red corner is the Bulldre Racing Team Audi S2 Quattro by Anders Johansen. This car originally came with the 5-cylinder turbo engine. But in this case, the standard 2.2 liters was not sufficient and Anders has utilized an engine block and crankshaft from a diesel version, upping the displacement to 2.5 liters. The cylinder head is the later model 20 valve version. Boost is generated with a Borg Warner 8776 Turbo, also known as the S364SXE. At 2.6 bar of overpressure, the horsepower at the wheels reads 730 with 880 Nm of torque. We estimate somewhere around 850 horsepower at the engine, taking the four-wheel drive powertrain losses into account. The fuel is E85 ethanol and the engine management is max ECU race. The gearbox is a six-speed sourced from a VW Passat. The drivetrain continues with an Elite Racing Engineering front differential, an open center and locked rear differentials for the optimal power slide dynamics. Coilovers are by KW suspension. The weight of the car is just 1250 kilos, which is not bad at all for an iron engine four-wheel drive tank. In the blue corner, we have Kenneth Alm's four-wheel drive converted VW Sirocco. This car also features an Audi 5-cylinder with a diesel bottom end. In this case, the displacement is increased all the way to 2.6 liters. With the same Borg Warner 8776 turbo and 2.6 power boost, the horsepower output is 925 ponies with 1125 newton meters of twist at the crankshaft. An Ultronic SM4 ECU handles the engine management duties. The transmission is an Audi 01e 6-speed and the limited slip differential at the rear is by Gripper. The car features all original Sirocco body panels and weighs 1400 kilos. Before we get to the points, don't forget to check out our latest Grumblow merch. That's the best way you can support this channel. The link is down in the description below. And now let's run down the Grumblo scoring for these two four-wheel drive power sliding monsters. The first category is performance. Both cars are insane to watch. The Audi is lighter, but the Sirocco has a bit more power. We will grant both of them four and a half out of five points. In the looks department, the S2 is gutted down to the bare minimum and looks like the war machine that it is. We will score it two and a half out of five. The Sirocco is the neater finish and gets three and a half points. Grumblo is all about pure car sounds and as usual the 5-cylinder screen gets the goosebumps out. These cars both get 4.5 out of 5 for the noise. So the Sirocco gets the narrow win in this pairing with 12.5 points versus 11.5 for the S2. Here's the leaderboard. Let us know what cars you would like to see in the next episode. If you liked the video, you know what button to smash and I will see you in the next one.